Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to continue the derivation which was started in the previous video, IDS versus VDS. So this derivation, as I discussed, it was it is very very important and definitely you may get this question in the national examination, IDS versus VDS. <laughs> so here we are going to derive the drain to source current in terms of drain to source voltage. Okay, I have already started uh, with this. Um, IDS notation, the standard notation of the IDS from this uh, MOS structure is uh, charge induced in the channel by electron transit time tau SD. Okay, later first we have calculated the denominator part tau SD and then we have moved to the QC that we have calculated in the non-saturation region. So we have taken the QC charge induced in the channel, the standard notation epsilon instead of epsilon naught eg into w by l that we have taken what is eg and substituted everything and we have derived this ideas in two terms like k and beta now i am going to extend the derivation in two more parameters so they are gate capacitance and one more is gate capacitance per unit area so the gate capacitance cg how can you express the gate capacitance cg normally capacitance we can write the capacitance expression as c is equal to epsilon a by d C is equal to epsilon A by D. This is general formula. D is nothing but distance between the plates. A is the area of the plates. Epsilon, epsilon naught, epsilon naught. Related to permittivity and as well as free space permittivity. And C is that capacitance. Now, as we are going to write the expression for G, gate CG is equal to epsilon naught, epsilon insulator, a nothing but area divided by d thickness of the oxide because that capacitance cg is existed between the polysilicon and the substrate that is at the gate terminal so that's why it is gate capacitance so area a is equal to length into w length into width so that's why this uh, cg we are writing it as epsilon naught epsilon insulator w into l divided by d okay how can you write this cg in terms of k what do you mean by k see here k we have assumed something epsilon naught epsilon insulator mu by d so we already know k is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator mu by d Okay, so from this relation, we can write k into k by mu is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator by d. Substitute this in this. So therefore, Cg is equal to k w l by mu. So what we need? K is equal to Cg mu by w l. <laughs> substitute this k value substitute k in equation I think equation is 3 equation 3 so then IDS is equal to k into w by l nothing but cg mu by W L W by L into V G S minus V T minus V D S by two into V D S. Okay, here W W gets cancelled. So I D S is equal to C G mu by C G mu by L square. VGS minus VT, we can multiply that VDS inside, VDS minus VDS square by 2. This is what the fifth equation, fifth equation that is in terms of CG. Now, uh, let us introduce another parameter, introduce, introduce C naught which is gate capacitance 
गेट कैपासिटेंस पर यूनिट एरिया गेट कैपासिटेंस पर यूनिट एरिया वी आर राइटिंग सी नॉट एस गेट कैपासिटेंस पर यूनिट एरिया एरिया इज नथिंग बट डबल इनटू एल ओके वी नो सीजी ऑलरेडी इन द बुक इज सीजी इज इक्वल टू सी नॉट इनटू डबल यू एल देवरफॉर आइडिया सीजी इक्वल टू सीजी इज इक्वल टू समथिंग सी नॉट इनटू डबल यू एल सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज सी नॉट म्यू डबल यू बाय एल इनटू वीजीएस माइनस वीटी वीडीएस minus vds square by 2 this is what the sixth equation so these equations these four equations which are in terms of k in terms of data in terms of cg in terms of c naught these four equations are very very important definitely you may get a uh, what is that a problem on any of these ideas equations okay if the problem asks in terms of c naught you can directly go for this formula else you can go for the relevant equation whichever you want okay this is what the ideas all these four equations we have calculated in terms of non saturation region okay there we have started the derivation in terms of non saturation region now we need to do the calculation for saturation region when the saturation region starts if you see the characteristics saturation region is nothing but vds is greater than vgs minus vt vds is greater than vgs minus vt but this vds is greater than vgs minus vt is nothing but the saturation uh, that means that the device is in saturation but when the saturation region starts when vds is equal to vgs minus vt with this point we are going to change all these four equations k beta cg and c naught okay let us start the saturation region saturation region okay so how the characteristics are let us recall the characteristics so that you can understand better this is the vds applied vds and this is the ids okay so these are the characteristics as voltage increases current also increases if you take these characteristics at this particular point vds is equal to vgs minus vt saturation region starts this entire region called as uh, saturation region where vds is greater than vgs minus vt okay this is lesser value region left hand side right hand side it is greater value region but saturation region enters the transistor enters into saturation region where vds is equal to vgs minus vt so transistor enters into saturation region transistor enters into saturation region when vds is equal to vgs minus vt vds is equal to vgs minus vt so substitute this formula in all those four equations so from IDS equations in terms of K in terms of K IDS is equal to K into W by L A into W by L this is the first equation in terms of K K into W by L VGS minus VT into vgs minus vt into 
vds minus vds square by 2. Substitute this vds is equal to vgs minus vt. So, k into w by l. What happens? This is both are same. So, vgs minus vt into vgs minus vt that becomes vgs minus vt whole square. It also vgs minus vt whole square. I am replacing vds with vgs minus vt. So, 1 minus half this becomes half. So, k into w by l 2 I am taking here. So, vgs minus vt whole square. This is what the ideas. Or you can also write ideas is equal to k into w by 2l into vds square you can also write because vgs equal to vds equal to vgs minus vt whole square. Okay. And in terms of in terms of beta. Same, here no need to calculate again and again. The left right hand side part is entirely same, entirely same, only k, k into w by l becomes beta. So, ideas is equal to beta by 2 into vgs minus vt whole square. Next, third one is in terms of CG. So, ideas is equal to, in terms of CG, how we can write? CG mu by L square. So, CG mu by 2 into L square, VGS minus VT whole square. And last one, in terms of C naught. So, ideas is equal to, what is the formula in term C naught mu W by L? C naught mu W by 2L into VGS minus VT whole square. So, these are the four equations. So these are these three and as well as this equation. These four equations are shown that the drain to source current in terms of saturation region. Previous four equations are in non-saturation region. Depending upon the operation of the transistor, whether it is in the saturation region or non-saturation region, the corresponding formula has to be considered. Because here onwards, we are going to use this formula ideas for number of times. Depends upon the situation of the transistor, whether it is in the saturation region or in the non-saturation region. Clear? This is the derivation of ideas versus VDS. Thank you.